the physicist Albert Einstein is always being mocked for his intelligence. In our daily conversations, when we find someone who is good at something, we compare him to Albert Einstein but the question arises. Why does this happen to Albert Einstein? Without any other scientists is he really the smartest person in the world or are there other people smarter than him what if we put Einstein's brain inside a body what do you think we will find inside Einstein's brain this question, despite its oddity, has an answer. Einstein was a doctor who recommended that his body be completely burned after he died. But the doctors and specialists in the field of disease, Thomas Harvey, while examining the body, stole Einstein's brain without anyone knowing. Because he believed that Einstein's brain was carrying a key. And a leaf in his hand and he put this brain in. A jar of formalin. And he photographed it with the Chinese rubber. And he started to run tests and research on it after decades. He announced what he did and scientists and other researchers started to participate. In Einstein's brain study and what they discovered was that Einstein's brain weight and noticed that some parts of the brain were thicker than normal and also expected that the right and left half of Einstein's brain were strongly connected and this can be a motivator for his creativity or intelligence in one way or another. But in the end, the composition of the brain and its size were not something noticeable. It was not enough for Einstein to be a genius and in fact, Albert Einstein is a genius and in fact, statistically, Albert Einstein is not the most intelligent person in the world. But let me surprise you and tell you that he is not even among them. The most intelligent 10 people in the world or even the most intelligent 100 people. Or even the most intelligent 1000 people there are thousands of people. Who are ahead of Albert Einstein in intelligence. But before we continue, let me ask you a question. Do you think that intelligence is a natural thing? That exists in humans or something acquired like it like the rest of the skills and if the IQ is low? Can we sleep with time write it in the comments and by the way. The like button is down. Because it helps us reach more people and subscribe. And activate the bell for those who haven't yet. Let's go back to our topic. Scientists say that the average IQ of a normal person is about 100 and if this number reaches 70 and below, it means that the person is not smart. But if this number reaches 130 above, that means the person is very smart. When they estimated Albert Einstein's IQ, they found it around 160 and you were impressed and feel that the number is crazy, let me tell you that there are people in the world whose IQ is much higher than this Isaac Newton, for example, estimates his IQ at 190 degrees, and the famous chess player, Gary Kasparov, his IQ is 194 and you have the Australian mathematician Terence Tell, who got an IQ of 230 at the age of 16. But the American mathematician William James Sattis. Researchers estimate his IQ at 250. And William was fluent in several languages including Latin, French, German, and Turkish and he is 8 years old it is obvious that all these people. And many others when we compare their IQ to Einstein's IQ. They are much better than him but despite that, Einstein is still the one who compares IQ and ingenuity without any other so what is the reason let's take the subject one by one regarding IQ regarding IQ. It is, unexpectedly, not sufficient evidence to judge a person's IQ. Tests of the standard IQ, such as the Stanford Bernie IQ and the David Wexler IQ, show the extent of a person's IQ but from a certain angle and not at the expense of all his mental abilities. This is because these tests are usually largely based on attention and distinction between things. And are also based on memory, such as the ability to memorize numbers. And the completion of sentences and words. 
and most questions are made by speed. Which is very important to solve. And if the person was not fast enough to choose the answers, then his result in the IQ would be lower. These reasons make IQ tests insufficient and not enough at all to judge the IQ of a person. Yes, the speed of the instrument is important in judging the IQ. But it is a part, and it cannot be the main principle. As if someone is smart and well-educated but slow in writing. We can't judge him as not well-educated that's not. Because he has different kinds of intelligence some people have a high level of linguistics and verbal intelligence and they have very high skills in reading, writing and describing things while others have a high level of mathematics intelligence, and a high ability to solve mathematical operations, puzzles, and solving and solving things. And others have a very high level of visual and spatial intelligence, and can deal with pictures, colors, and drawings in a different way than others. All of them are different types of intelligence that we can't ignore. So what's the goal of all this? The goal is to show that Einstein was distinguished by a certain type of intelligence. That wasn't available to any other scientist at the time and this was his ability to analyze information. Imagine new science, and link things together. Einstein was not the best at math. And he admitted this personally. He was using his first wife, Maliva, and his friend, Michael Peso, to help him solve the math problems he was facing. But he had certain visions and visions that no one else in the world had seen. He only had them in his mind, and he tried to write them down on paper in the form of scientific theories, and make sure it's true and that's what Einstein was very good at I mean, maybe the Australian mathematician Terence Tell who we mentioned a while ago and who has an IQ of 230, is more intelligent than Einstein in the speed of computational operations. But that doesn't prevent Einstein from being superior in his ability to imagine modern science. And perhaps the biggest example of this is the idea of black holes. And the black hole. Einstein's contemporaries described him as a scholar and philosopher. This is because of his strange scientific ideas that he says all the time. In 1915 Einstein published the general relativistic theory which talks about gravity. And he modified the general law of gravity to Newton which was completely accepted for about two and a half centuries. And it made a big controversy when he described time and space as one end. He put very precise equations predicting the movement of planets around the sun at that time people were doubting what he was saying but with the 1919. The English astronomers Frank Dyson and Arthur Eddington were able to apply his equations and measurements. During the sun's eclipse this year and the surprise is that everything. Einstein said this was true after Einstein was done with the concept of gravity and the connection of time and space. He talked in his research papers about something called the gravity waves. He also predicted the existence of a strange object in the universe called the black hole at that time. No one understood what the man was saying. Nor did they understand the things he was saying and mentioning in his theories at that time. There was no evidence to confirm his words and the science of radio astronomy was very humble. But the amazing thing is that after about 100 years of theory, Einstein's prophecy was fulfilled. In 2016, Diagol, who is in the United States, announced that they observed the tidal waves and proved their existence. Those who are working on this discovery took the Nobel Prize in Physics. And they are the physicist Rainer Weiss and the physicist Barry Barish. In 2019, we watched the first black hole image, which made a buzz in all scientific media. This is because the image that was taken is very similar to Albert Einstein's images. And that is why it is one of the most important reasons for Einstein's fame, that his conclusions and equations have proven to us over time that they are reliable. Indeed, this theory has been completely devoid of modern physics. 
and many applications have emerged that have benefited humanity. Including the system of determining global websites or GPS, which we used to use on our phones. Which is considered a technology that depends on the equations of the theory of relativity directly. Above all, Einstein was already very popular. Starting with his figure, clothes, and strange hair. Passing through his quotes his way of speaking, and even his shade and strange smiles. All of these factors made Albert Einstein the most beloved genius scientist. And the most famous scientist in history and made his name always compared to genius and creativity. That's it.